Good. How are you? Good. Uh, what was it like to be back out on the field? Was there any kind of rust or anything like that coming back from the break? Yeah, I think anytime you take 10 days off, there's going to be uh, a little bit of, of rust, you know, just pre snap, post snap, things like that. But, you know, I feel good with where we're at from an install standpoint. Um, the thing that I've been challenging the offense with and we've been challenging our team with is. 11 guys doing it together and you know obviously spring ball you're moving guys around new spots new positions um, so what we can't have is 10 guys do it right and one guy busting so uh, the more we can clean that up the more efficient we'll be and the, the better we'll be able to execute offensively are there any guys in particular that you move around that you like kind of there in the new spots yeah so we're you know we're looking at some different mat uh, lineups on the o-line um, we're moving some of the receivers are getting some inside and outside reps uh, we're moving the tight ends all over the place so uh, you know all of those guys are handling the the information and and the install very well um, but now we just got to get better at what we're doing uh, look, look like a lot of maven and mikey uh, early in practice today how, how valuable are those guys with their, their assets yeah, I just think they're going to give us that explosiveness in the slot that, you know, Tron was a, a really good player for us last year. He's going to be a great player for us this year in the slot. But, you know, having some versatility um, with those guys, kind of the punt returner type bodies in there, um, we feel like it's going to give us a chance to be a little bit more explosive in the slot. And then Tron will be able to, you know, win his one-on-one -on -one matchups outside. Uh, I know it hasn't been too many practices, but it feels like some of those new guys are kind of more comfortable than they were before the break. I mean, how much do you sense that they kind of grasped things and really learned from that first week of practice? Yeah, the good thing is we got a good start before spring break. And, um, you know, even with our install meetings, the three weeks leading up to spring ball. So, again, I'm not as concerned with our guys knowing what to do. It's just how we're doing it. That's what we're focusing on when we're out here is how, how well we, we can execute. Can you talk about Callaway? What makes him a little different from the next guy? Yeah, I mean, Callaway's a big, big physical guy. Um, he's explosive, and he's just learning right now. So you can tell whenever he knows what he's doing that he's he's got some juice to him. Uh, so our job is just to keep, you know, getting him comfortable in the offense and in the scheme and, and letting him go out and play at, a, play at a high level. How many running backs can play in a game, assuming everybody's healthy? Uh, probably four, you know, I think is probably realistic of, you know, obviously Jade Knott's going to be our, our guy and, you know, but we've got to have guys that can spell him and, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be about production with those guys. So once they get their opportunities in games, if, if they're producing, then we're going to get those guys more touches. Ott was getting a lot of carries toward the end of the season, up to close to 30. Is that okay over the course of the season? Yeah, I would like, I think 30 is a little high. Um, because I want him to be explosive every time he touches it. Um, but, you know, with some of our depth issues we had at the end of last season, that was kind of where we were at, and we had, to, we had to lean on him, and he was able to handle that. So I think he definitely has shown that he can be that guy. Um, but from a production standpoint and an explosiveness standpoint, I think 30 would be the max of what I'd want him carrying it. Particularly early in the season? Yeah, I don't. That you know, that, that doesn't really matter to me. I mean, every game is kind of has its own story, you know. And so when you get into a game, you know, guys get hot and we let we let guys that are hot roll. So um, that's always just kind of drive to drive and game to game. Kind of get into the heavy part of recruiting season, you know, as you kind of step in here, what's been your pitch to the recruits that you talk about, about why you know, they should be playing in your system, why you guys want them here? Well, I think First and foremost, they're going to be developed. They're going to be coached. They're going to be treated the right way. They're going to be in a program where they can, you know, they can have the best of the best. They can be a lead on the field, play power four football is what we say now since there's no power five football. Um, but you're going to get to go line up against the best in the country. You know, you're going to Auburn. You're going to Florida State. You're going, Miami's coming here. You're, you know, you're playing in a big time conference. Um, but then you're also got an opportunity to get a degree from the number one public school in the United States of America. So it takes a special person, takes an elite person. And, you know, that's what those are the type of guys I'm trying to bring in here. I think that's what Cal's had success with in the past. Um, you know, obviously we want to recruit, recruit the best talent that we can, but we want them to fit and we want them to stay and develop and grow here. Have you noticed any difference in style? 
difference between the ACC and the Pac-12? You know, I hadn't been on the field in the ACC ever. So, um, you know, outside of maybe a non-conference game here and there at other places I've been. Um, so we'll see. We'll see as we really dive into kind of some future opponent scout stuff this summer and really start breaking down our opponents. Right now we're so focused on ourselves that uh, I'd be lying if, if I told you I've watched a bunch of ACC film. Are there any particular benchmarks that you guys are trying to reach as you go through spring? I know you mentioned it's kind of like just trying to make sure everyone knows what they're doing, kind of has a feel for how you guys are doing it. But is there, are there any particular kind of benchmarks that you're looking to seek and, and reach out you know, over the course of the spring? Yeah, I think, you know, starting with the run game, we want to be efficient in the run game. We want to we want to average five yards of carry on first and second down. Uh, we want to be efficient in short yardage. Those are things that we'll track throughout the spring. And then we want to be efficient in third down in general. So whether it's third, medium, third, and long, we have to stay on the field. We're tracking all of that stuff every day. Uh, we're tracking completion percentages of the quarterbacks. You know, those guys, depending conceptually on what we're running. Now, if we're pushing the ball down the field, you're not going to complete 70% of those. But if we're running you know, our quick game stuff and our RPO stuff, we need to be over 70% completing that. So those are all things that we're keeping track of and kind of evaluating as we go through the spring. When you looked at the first week, what was kind of the message to the quarterbacks? Keep it up. Keep it up. I thought they handled handled everything really well the first week of practice. Uh, they've competed really well. They've worked really well together. I think they're making each other better. And uh, Coach Gilbert's done a great job of, of really – tying their feet into their eyes and their progressions and everything else. So I like where they're at and where they're headed. Is, it, is, it, go ahead. is there any chance that there will be a number one quarterback at the end of spring? Uh, I said it last time I was up here. Fernando's our number one quarterback right now. He's our returning starter. Um, obviously, Chandler has played a lot of football and is a really good player as well. So um, I don't think there's a timeline on anything. You know, we're just like we're doing at every position across the board. We want to continue to bring in competition. We want those guys to challenge each other. And the more we can create that competition, the better everyone's going to get. And so, you know, I don't have a timeline on when that would be. All right. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, guys.